Human trafficking, it was the focus of a special 27 Investigate series last week here on First News. And tonight, one local school district is holding a special event hoping to educate parents and students. 27 First News reporter James Santelli is live in Beaver Township where that meeting is set to start in about an hour. James? Erica, I'm down here at South Range Schools where they're just about an hour away from this program and it's focusing on human trafficking because it's part of the larger awareness campaign from the state of Ohio. Now I'm here with uh, Trooper Rodney Ramps from State Highway Patrol. Now uh, 27 First News has done stories where you've uh, gone into truck stops, hotels, other places. Why did you now want to expand that program into schools? Well, a lot of times when the State Highway Patrol or any law enforcement agency gets involved with the human trafficking, we're getting into it at a point where it's too late. You know, we're making the arrest, we're saving the victim, but we don't want there to be a victim in the first place. By bringing us into the school setting, you know, we know the predators are looking for the girls and the boys who are aged between 11 to 14. So very young. by getting, yeah, very young. By getting here, we're hoping to educate their parents, their teachers, the kids themselves to say, hey, this is what you look for. This is what you want to be aware of. Let's save you from becoming a victim before you get out there and we're saving you from your predator. Thank you, Trooper Ramps. And as part of this presentation, there will also be uh, Mike Schneider, a uh, former patrolman now with Motor Carrier Enforcement. And uh, as Trooper Ramps said, it, it's all about what you need to know. We'll kind of boil it down. What do parents and young kids need to know about this? Well, we want them to answer two questions for themselves. We want to know, how can this happen to you and what can I do about it? And hopefully after this presentation, they'll know and be a little bit more aware of what's going on in the world today. I mean, social media has brought in your small community into your large communities. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we deal with these kids on, you know, I deal with this community a lot. I'm involved in a lot of the community activities. Our kids go to school here. Uh, so this is very, very important to us that we, you know, make them aware so that we don't have one of our children in our area become a victim of this crime. And that it doesn't just happen in other places. It happens right here at home. Yeah, it happens here very close to home. I mean, we've had, you know, incidents across the state of Ohio where rural communities have been, in, you know, hardly impacted by this, by this crime. Mike Schneider, thank you very much. All right, and so Mike Schneider and Trooper Ramps will all be a part of the presentation. We'll be down here, and it starts at 7 o'clock here at South Range Schools. We'll have a full report tonight on WKBN 27 First News at 11. Until then, live from South Range Schools, James Santelli, WKBN 27 First News.